Let's speak to Mike, May United fan. Hi, Michael. Hello, gents. You okay? I'm good. How are you? Yeah, uh, well, yeah, that's a question. So, Oh, he's a Man United fan. This must be happy, isn't he? Yeah, well, why aren't you over the moon, Mikey? No, no, absolutely happy that we beat Liverpool yesterday, but deep down, absolutely gutted that we keep winning what? these games. It's given us this complete false sense of hope, this false oh. sense of progression, this false sense of belief in that manager and that squad. And I, I tell you something, the league table doesn't lie. We've lost 11 games this season. And let me ask you a question. Let, 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 me, let me ask you a question. We have not won games that we should have lost, but we have lost games that we should have won. No, the other way around. We have not should we have won, won yesterday? We should have lost. Should we have won yesterday? But, no. We shouldn't have won. No, we shouldn't have won. Why? And this is, this is the problem. Why, why shouldn't we have? Because Liverpool were a full-strength squad. And if we think we've played a full-strength squad, we we get absolutely trounced. And Liverpool, in the second half, it was like United wasn't there. It was what like about the first half? There. First 20 minutes, we were okay. We were okay. We weren't good. Would you, we would you, ra- would you rather, as a Man United fan, United have lost that game? Yeah. Ooh, I mean, that's disgraceful, Michael. Is it? It's not disgraceful. You should never want your team to lose, Mike, ever. No, but we, we shouldn't want our team to have to put up with Eric Ten Hag and that squad. Well, I back him. He's there. Back him. Back your manager. Why, why Why do you back him? Well, because I think United have had injury problems like a lot of other teams. And I think a performance, like, performance like that yesterday, everyone dug deep. But but this is the problem. It gives I've us never want United to lose, Mike. That's but you terrible. Said, but, to but Liverpool. You said that, we have this, but you said we have these injury problems, but like every other team, and look where the other teams yeah, are. We haven't had a back four out. all season, Mike. But, but everybody has injury problems. I know, but you can't watch. So, Mike, the man, you know, how long have you been a United fan for, Mike? Uh, 20 years. Mike, the 20 year old or 20 year supporting Man United fan, wanted Liverpool to win the FA Cup quarter final. Maybe not against Liverpool, but we should we should be losing those games and gives us a true reflection of where we are. Look what happens in the Champions League. We were bottom. Look where we are in the Premier League. But we keep getting these fluky results. How was last season? Teams. Pardon? How was last season for you? And what have we done since then? No, but how was have it? Progressed? It, it, it was it was mediocre. So in six six months you've changed your mind. You want the manager out? Yes. Well, I, I never really wanted him in, but we gave him the opportunity. Look what he's done. Anthony, the only reason that Anthony scored yesterday was that Liverpool, Liverpool understand he's that rubbish. He would never <laughs> actually have got that shot away and he just managed to fluke it in the, in the corner. Mike, I don't, I don't know what to say. Have that. Gary, Gary that. was... <clears throat> no, Mike was a great call, that. I like Mike. Still to come on the show, we'll be joined by a platinum award winning our artist and commentary fan, Tom Grennan's. Do you know Tom? Oh, of course you do, from Playing Top yeah. First it's time for no Googling. Commentary reached the FA Cup semi-finals at the weekend thanks to a 3-2 win over Midland rivals Wolves. Striker Ellis Sims scored twice in the game, Mm. taking his tally in this season's FA Cup to five. He became just the second player in the club's history to have scored five goals in a single FA Cup campaign. Can you name the other player? I'll give you a clue. Do you know what? I've I've not looked at it. It's where my kids live. I'm going to have a guess. Okay. I'll give you a clue. No. Oh, Who are you going for? Stairs up to the bedroom. What? Who's that? Who's that? Who's that? Stairs up to the bedroom. Good friend of the oh, show. Oh, Dion <laughs> Dublin. Thought you were offering me for... No. <laughs> no, it's not him. But I'll give you a clue, commentary fans. One of your most famous goal scorers. Ooh. All right. Answer to that and more coming up live on Drive Talks Talksport after this. On AM, on DAB, via the Talksport app and on your smart speaker. Talk sport.